Hi everyone, my name is Cassie and welcome to my channel, Bookish Four Eyes. I can't believe January is already over and it's now February. So naturally it's time for the January reading wrap up. Um, January was a pretty good reading month for me. I read 10 books. I can't remember the last time I read 10 books in a month. So it's a good start um, to my goal of trying to read 50 books this year. So let's get right to it. The very first book that I read is called Uncommon Type by Tom Hanks. I didn't really know much about this book um, before I picked it up, apart from knowing that it was written by Tom Hanks. It's a collection of short stories, and I've seen some decent reviews of it before I went into reading this book. Unfortunately, I was disappointed. Some of the stories were okay, but others I really had to struggle through. The characters were very surface level, and I just didn't really care about any of the stories, honestly. I just couldn't wait for the book to be over as bad as it sounds because I do like Tom Hanks as an actor. I ended up giving this book two stars um, and unfortunately it wasn't a very good read for me. The next book that I read is called The Leavers by Lisa Ko and I really like this book. I heard so many great things about it before picking it up but I've actually seen her talk about her book um, at the Brooklyn Book Fair that I went to last year and she was great to see in person and the book was sounding even more interesting after that. Um, this book is about a young boy and his mom and they live in New York City. The mom works at a nail salon and is um, an illegal immigrant and she struggles with finding work and being able to support her son. One day she disappears and her son, who's the main character in this book, ends up being adopted by a white family out in the suburbs of New York City and he ends up moving upstate. This book was so well written and I just couldn't help but care about all the characters. It was just absolutely heartbreaking. There was just so many unexpected things happening and I could not put this book down. It was such a great read. Really, really enjoyed it. I gave it five out of five stars. I highly recommend it if that sounds like a book you'd be interested in. The third book that I read is a book that's been sitting on my shelves for a while and it took me a while to get around to reading it. This book is Lincoln and Bardo by George Sanders. I heard so much about this book. I feel like it was incredibly hyped up. You could not listen to a podcast about books without this book being mentioned. It was just all over Barnes & Noble. It was all over everything. It, this book was everywhere. So naturally I had to pick it up, but I didn't get around to it until just now. <laughs> um, this book takes place over a course of like one night or something, maybe a day. I can't even remember anymore. And it's written just so different from anything that I've ever read before. This book is about President Lincoln and his son who died um, at a young age and the president's struggle with that untimely death of his son. And you get to see an interesting perspective because this takes place in like a graveyard setting and you get to hear a lot of the stories of people who have passed away and some of them don't know they've passed away and they just have this whole other world there. It's just, it was very unique. It was a very interesting setting. It was unlike anything I've ever read before. And it took me a little while to kind of get the hang of what was happening and who was talking and what was going on. And it's a very short read because it's like this the entire time. There's just little bits and pieces of stuff that people say and it's all different people talking and interacting with each other so it was just a very unique book but I liked it I gave it three stars it was a neat read if you heard about it and you think you want to read it definitely check it out the next book that I read is called The Woman in the Window by AJ Finn I have a full review of this book on my channel I will link it down below if you're curious about this one um, this is a thriller it's also been, I've been seeing it everywhere, so I had to pick it up. It's about a woman who does not leave her house and she is looking out on her neighbors um, across the street and she sees something she shouldn't have seen and that's how the trouble starts. There's a lot of unraveling in that. You also find out why she doesn't leave her house, what happened with her family, just all of these sorts of things. It's a good thriller if you like um, Girl on the Train and um, all those kinds of books. It took me a little while to get into, but overall I enjoyed it. I gave this book four out of five stars. 
The next book that I listened to is called Bossy Pants by Tina Fey and I have a hard time getting into audiobooks just because sometimes my mind starts to wander and I don't know what's going on. I really like celebrity narrated books, usually ones they were written themselves about themselves. So I really like this one. Tina Fey was fun to listen to and I just flew by this book, it was great. Um, I like Tina Fey from 30 Rock and obviously Mean Girls where it was the first time that I ever saw her so I'm, I, I like her work. I ended up giving this book 4 out of 5 stars. The next book that I read is called The Heart's Invisible Furies by John Boyne and this book was amazing. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. It was just an absolutely heartbreaking, incredible read that I recommend you, you pick up and read right now. I haven't seen anyone else talking about this book and that just blows my mind. It's an own voices book and the protagonist of the story is a gay man. The story starts in the 1940s in Ireland where the main character is first born and then his life all throughout. It jumps like decades showing him as a kid and then him in school and then him in college and then him as an adult and all like the stages of his life. And it shows his immense struggle, um, keeping it a secret, hiding it from everybody, avoiding persecution for it, and just all his struggles, and even in like almost a present day, his, his experiences and all of these, it was just an absolutely heartbreaking read. I was like genuinely angry at times and I was genuinely sad at times. I can't remember the last time I read a book where I cared about a main character so much and I was so, so invested beautifully written. From the first page of this book, I could not put it down. I knew I had to read it and it was an amazing read. So if you take anything away from this wrap up, pick up this book, read it, I promise you will enjoy it. The next book that I read is called Shutter Island. Um, I've seen the movie a few years back and I really enjoyed it, but I've never read the book. It's by Dennis Lehane. and I really like his book, so I thought, why don't I just read this one? It was a great read and it was a lot like the movie. I'd say they were pretty, like, the movie was pretty close to the book from what I remember. It's about a U.S. Marshal, Teddy Daniels, who goes with his partner to investigate an escaped uh, patient from an insane asylum and they go through a lot of different uh, investigations there and just things aren't what they seem. Things seem to be very, very off. If I tell you any more than that, you, you'll know too much. It's better to go in it blind, not knowing anything. Do not look at spoilers. Do not look on any reviews or anything. You're gonna know too much. It's, you're better off not knowing anything. I gave this book four out of five stars. The next book that I read is called Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I gave this book three out of five stars. I've uh, read the Grisha trilogy a couple of years ago and I've heard nothing but good things about this book so I decided to pick it up. This book took me a little while to get into the plot. I guess this is a part of a duology so there's one more book I have to read. It was like a heist type scenario where they have to break into this this castle, this like this city and um, steal uh, one of their like inmates, one of the convicts there. Um, it's told from a perspective of a bunch of different characters who are taking, who are part of this group who's trying to break in. It was good, but I just felt like whenever there was different person perspectives um, constantly happening, I like a little more depth. I feel like here I couldn't tell all of them apart. They were very, very similar. With that being said, I still enjoyed the book. I thought it was an interesting adventure and especially near the end of it I was really into it. So I'm looking forward to reading the second book in this duology. The next book that I read is There Are More Beautiful Things Than Beyonce by Morgan Parker. This is a collection of poetry. I'm not a poetry expert but it was great and interesting and it made sense to me. So I think that's definitely a plus as far as poetry collections go. I'm definitely looking forward to expanding my poetry um, horizons, so if you know any good books that you could recommend to me, please do that. I would greatly, greatly appreciate that. Last but not least is We Were Feminist Once, a book that I was really looking forward to reading. This book was a good read. I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. This basically talks about feminism now and how a popular culture has really 
made it into something completely different than what it used to be before, how it's now cool to be a feminist. Um, celebrities don't shy away from saying that um, they're a feminist, they embrace it and they know it's gonna, it gets them more popularity and more supporters. So it's been turned around completely to something that is like, you're cool now for saying that basically. If this is an interesting read, if feminism is something you're interested in, especially feminism right now, how it's changed and how um, there's so many things that are being sold to us constantly because companies are trying to take advantage of this trend. So it's a great read. That's it for my January reads. Please let me know if you've read any of these books before and please let me know if there were any great reads that you uh, got through in January. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.